Namaste Shumla Didi. Namaste all. Good morning. And welcome to the morning session. Ji, namaste Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko namaste. Good morning. And welcome. We are doing UHV 3. And we did four lectures in module one. And uh, then we went to the practice session and talked about step one of exercise one, observing the self by the self. So although we finished the discussion on step one, observing the self by the self, but this is the step that is the going to be the foundation for the entire exercise. And we need to continue to do this step, even though we may stop talking about it. But this is what is going to continue to be, meaning that awareness of what is going on in the imagination, that has to continue throughout. And as we go to the, you know, the higher steps, we'll see how it further evolves. Of course, before that happens, as part of the UHV 3 first module, we'll be doing a couple of more lectures before we go to further steps. That's just so that we get enough time to be practicing this step one before we go to the further steps. And meanwhile, we'll be talking about some other topics. So yesterday, in the assignment that we talked, we you know, had discussed what we are going to be observing. One was to see how long our attention seems to stay on our imagination. I mean, we may notice that we have some thoughts and then we may be busy doing many things. And then again, after some time, we may notice more thoughts. So this gap, you know, we'll, we'll be able to see that how long we are able to stay with our attention on the imagination and then you know, after how long does it drift away? And when it drifts away, after how long do we come back to it? So this, if we could, um, anybody would like to discuss regarding their observations, that the imagination seems to you, know, you are able to pay attention to the imagination for some time and then maybe you forget about it. Then again at some point you come back to it. So when you are actually paying attention to your imagination, approximately how long are you able to stay attentive or aware of your imagination? This was one question. So if anybody would like to share their observations about this. Because many people will have this doubt. Is it okay? Is it okay or is it not okay that we are not able to see it all the time? Or our attention, our awareness shifts. So anybody would like to give their feedback, their you know experience from yesterday of how it was? Were we able to do this uh, assignment yesterday? You can reply in the chat. Yes, no. Because if we are able to do it, then it should be very easy to be able to say this, huh? what we are discussing now. 
to any of you you can share how long did it look like you could continue just you know from time to time you would have been aware of the imagination so each time when you are aware how long does it seem to be that you are aware of the imagination before your attention is drawn somewhere else namaste didi namaste sabhi ko uh, didi uh, in the morning probably till 10:30 something like that we could i could be able to uh, in between i could be able to see my imagination mm-hmm. or i am in the attentive mode mm-hmm. as the workload increases and the day passes i, I thought i am i mean that uh, after that i was in auto mode like earlier having a whatever preconditioning assumptions matlab no no attention on the mind or awareness mm-hmm. what i am doing mm-hmm. and uh, when like after uh, 6:30 or so when i got so over then again oh i realized that oh, oh i gone up i i could not able to see during that so much of long time yeah then whenever i uh, usually in the morning uh, whenever we are sitting up then it will be mostly the whatever day activity i did that uh, thoughts are more into awareness um, whenever i try to observe uh, mm-hmm. what i did um, how i mean what i was uh, yesterday i was also trying ki what was the purpose behind or what was the uh, trying to see the feeling feeling i can't see but mm-hmm. i little bit i could able to uh, dig into the thoughts and mm-hmm. but in the morning whenever i am sitting uh, today it was more disturbing instead of calm when i sit for half an hour in the morning mm-hmm. so i couldn't get uh, that uh, usually mornings are very cool calm but today it was something very disturbing i mean i am trying to uh, i could yes i could see the imagination or i could be able to read my thoughts but it was somewhere um, tiredness or disturbing kind of thing but in spite of that nothing happened yesterday nothing happened in the morning it was a good good sleep also but i could not make out uh, mm-hmm. but thoughts were i mean i was not feeling comfortable or cool or calm in the morning when i was doing for half an hour nice so you are feeling at least you were able to see you didn't have the right feeling ha huh. yes 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 very yeah. really nice Yeah so see now this is how it will be to begin with you notice for a few minutes in the entire span of the day and then say from morning till evening you're not aware then again you notice for a few minutes so this is how it starts but think about it that earlier you weren't even aware of something else like a whole this is like a whole new dimension now we have to look at isn't it yeah yes yes so simple thing like you know you get up in a bad mood they say people say na whose face did you get up whose face did you see in the morning mm-hmm. you are in a bad mood and all. you don't no, have to no, see no, anybody no, actually no uh, what i did in the morning as soon as i get up at 4 i sit there in the bed itself and then uh, start observing my thought till my alarm again ring up at 4:25 till i was in that i mean i even not uh, put up my matlab uh, <laughs> i could not come out of the bed i was sitting there itself and uh, doing this observation mm-hmm. yeah so now this this comfort this uncomfortable feeling that you had mm-hmm. obviously some feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you 
Now the reason for that could be anything in the past, could be any thoughts, something may have triggered some thoughts, but we are not aware of it. So we are not able to say or pinpoint or have the clarity of why we have that kind of feeling. Huh, that, that, that's that's what I try. I'm trying to say that I could not uh, find the reason of that. Hmm. Uh, exactly. So this is why, you know, a lot of times people say, you know, I woke up from the wrong side of the bed or I saw who knows what I saw. But people say things like, I had a bad mood. Mm -hmm. so what is that mood? You are able to tell that there is some bad mood. But mm -hmm. why bad mood? And who is responsible for that? All that we have not got much clue because we don't pay attention inside. Hmm. And so we keep shifting from happiness to unhappiness mm -hmm. or what we think is happiness. It's fleeting. Mm -hmm. For some time we are comfortable. Then some other okay. time we are uncomfortable and we don't know the reason. So mm -hmm. as you keep becoming more and more aware, okay. and, you know, eventually we need to be aware every moment. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So now what you can do is you can say, make some way of reminding of yourself. Like you mentioned, you know, that morning you were able to notice the imagination, pay attention to it, and then evening and in the you know, span of the day, we weren't aware. So perhaps yeah. if you put a reminder, say, um, some people put alarms in the phone. Huh, yeah. Put an alarm in the phone every two hours or three hours or something like that. Whatever is convenient for you. Huh. You will notice that when that alarm goes off, it is to remind you to look at your imagination at that time. Yes. 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 So as you do something like this, slowly it will become a habit for you to keep looking within. And then you may not need to have a reminder, but you know, without the reminder also, you will be again paying attention more frequently. Yes, so this yes. is why we've mentioned in this assignment also mm -hmm. that you observe several times in the course of the day, say at least every four hours. So every yes. four hours, supposing you put a reminder for yourself and you look at your imagination. Now, several times in the day, you are looking at the imagination. You don't have to sit down for half an hour somewhere away. But whatever you are doing, you start noticing what you are paying attention to. It will, it will remind you to draw your attention back inside from time to time. So you can try that also. Yeah? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will try this. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. Mamta Batraji. I gave the mic, but I don't see it. Did you want to share something? You can unmute and speak. Uh, yes, good morning, Didi. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Uh, yesterday, ma'am, I tried to observe my imagination. Mm -hmm. And the whole time I was I was able to observe that I was comparing myself with others. Actually, mm -hmm. I was in a shiver mm -hmm. in yesterday. And that was the last day. And we were asked to uh, share our thoughts about the, the shiver. Mm -hmm. I am an uh, introvert kind of person. I did not want to speak on the mic. So mm -hmm. I was very disturbed uh, because I was asked time and again to share your thoughts. And uh, after half an hour, I decided that uh, later on, I might regret this. So I must say a few words or a few sentences about whatever I realized during mm -hmm. this days. Mm -hmm. So uh, the moment I decided that I would say something, I was 
uh, able to experience calmness yes. in my yes and i spoke uh, a few sentences but later on as well i was thinking about this i should have said this i should have said this uh, i was uh, i was comparing all the time mm-hmm. the morning when i uh, sat for 15 minutes i was thinking about that uh, how i uh, did that i should not have said this i should have said this is it okay didi but i was uh, totally observing myself and whole day mm. every morning, even when i was returning in the bus i was thinking about that mm-hmm. i was thinking about uh, my friends uh, how they were happy how they were uh, singing songs but i was not able to uh, you can say participate in that mm-hmm. is it okay is it okay i uh, i should have participated or i should have uh, stayed in my uh, comfort zone because i am yeah. totally introvert person i don't share yeah. my feelings and, and or, although most of the time i am at peace mm-hmm. but when uh, this kind of thing happens when somebody see when somebody pressurizes me uh to participate i feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. yes so first of all let me say it's very commendable that you are sharing this without any pressure from anywhere yeah that itself is very commendable because you mentioned that this is not something you find easy yeah yeah ma'am so the fact that you are sharing this the fact that you feel you know that you can share in an environment like this where others are listening to you yes that itself is very commendable and of course it is fine to be able to see this i mean you are witnessing what happened you are witnessing what you are feeling and you are sharing that now on hindsight Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you will notice that a lot of times we are very concerned about what the others may be thinking about me. Yes, I think this was the feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is true for many people. Why is it? Because within us, we are not looking at our own feeling. we are seeing ourselves as separate from the other so we are focusing on the differences between the other and myself yeah and we have we all have some image of ourselves within us and we would like to have the right feeling from the other about us i am now speaking in general for everybody okay yeah. yeah so this is a very common thing this is how we all you know we say this also in the first level workshop that we look for the right feeling from the other this is what it is being able to notice this that you are uncomfortable when you have to speak why are we uncomfortable if we look at that we think that if we say something different or what we consider wrong then what will others think about me this is the fear isn't it therefore we feel little uncomfortable about it actually ma'am i um, i yeah? don't okay this was the feeling actually okay. I, i don't like to speak in publicly on stage but why is that try to reflect on why why you don't like to speak okay okay hmm? don't have to answer that now just reflect on it okay think about it so you uh, notice what you are fearing about speaking 
all right okay i will and try you can come back you can come back with that whenever you feel up to it whenever okay. you notice something about it you can come back to it yeah I but this is very good that you are able to notice this that you were uncomfortable then yeah i was uncomfortable uncomfortable yeah. uh, before i decided to speak but mm -hmm. uh, then i decided that i should say something because i would regret later that um, the the people who were asking me to participate they might feel uh, that uh, i disrespected them this was the feeling i i actually did not want to hurt myself uh, that i would think later that i should have uh, spoken about this i should then again you said that you were fearful that you know they would think that you disrespected them what does yeah. that mean yeah that's why i that spoke about... have some different feeling about you isn't it yeah yeah so you will notice this that we are all the time doing many things because we think somebody else may be thinking something about us but in fact if you see everybody is busy with their own life they don't have that much time to think about too many things about other people and even if they think about something it will be for a brief you can see how your imagination goes from one to the other to the other to the other to so many things isn't it yeah it's yeah. The same for everybody else too they might pay attention to the few words you spoke but then somebody else speaks and what you spoke has been forgotten so i think you know we become too driven by this because we want that everybody should be able to have the right feeling for us yeah i can see that now yeah right so we need not be and that is that is not naturally acceptable to us that kind of feeling that is why when you took the decision to talk yes felt comfortable but yes. later on when you were thinking i should have said this i should not have said this what all that then again you slip back into that same thing of you know yeah what might others be thinking so you can notice these things and again it might make you uncomfortable you might see that yes i was uncomfortable even in the morning i was uncomfortable yes very nice so these things as we notice them we will be able to notice that our feeling is not right right yes very nice thank you so much didi thank you the next question we had was does your imagination stay on one topic or does it keep shifting from one topic to another topic would anybody like to share this this is an easy thing to see so if you'd like to share when you were paying attention to your imagination was your imagination staying on one topic or did it keep shifting from one topic to another topic yes you are audible yeah. my imagination it kept shifting from one topic to another mm -hmm. i could observe this that then so the entire day i was practicing this i was observing myself four or five times in the day for very little time for five minutes i could observe myself that okay what i am thinking what are the feeling what are the thoughts and the direction of thoughts but then there is there was some distraction when i forgot and in even in those four five minutes it was not that only i was thinking about only one thing mm. it was jumping from here and there Yes, <laughs> like this. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, like this only. True. So now you'll notice that you know when we are able to see where all this imagination is going, you'll get an idea of what you think is important for you, because that's what you're paying attention to. Isn't? I could see that many times the thoughts 
now because i am observing they are not important at all mhm mm whatever happened yesterday or day before yesterday so it's just a random thought about okay so this has happened okay that's it <laughs> <laughs> nothing important about it yeah you are recalling past events then yeah yes. not very old yesterday mm -hmm. day before yesterday mm -hmm. few days back and then because this weekend my sister is traveling uh, to india so most of the thoughts are on her only i could mm -hmm. see this also that she will okay she will be starting on thursday and she will be here to bangalore in on friday mm -hmm. so most of the times i was thinking about her also yesterday mm -hmm. and could and you yeah. notice the feeling there yeah it's it's a good feeling yes i could notice it's a good feeling it. yeah i'm looking forward to it she is coming nice so, though there is no plan right now to meet immediately they will be coming to bangalore and looking after their house and all those things but yes there is this good feeling that yes she is coming back nice very nice so like this you will notice that whatever is important we pay attention to that now you said that you know some thoughts about what we were doing yesterday or day before or whatever you will notice that we have been paying attention outside most of the time so when we are thinking also a lot of times we are thinking about the outside so whatever happened we tend to relive those things because our attention is outside so with that attention outside when we think also we relive what we did outside so you'll notice that and yes. with every thought that we have about what we did yesterday or day before there will be some feeling associated with it try to catch that feeling at least you will be able to see i am comfortable or uncomfortable this time this time is very small little like i am able to after 4 or 5 minutes i am disturbed so, so mm -hmm. will this time increase and yeah yeah just... see i think few minutes if we are disturbed means there is some feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you something in your thoughts came up which is disturbing you that feeling is there so if we are not able to see it now what sometimes we do we avoid because we don't want to go there we don't want to see that feeling or we we feel we are going to be unhappy with those thoughts so we avoid and so you may not be able to see that immediately and that's okay too because we are just starting this you know so like we were talking about baby step so very often you know when a baby is starting to walk baby falls down but what does the baby do gets up and starts walking again isn't it yes. so we'll keep doing this and you'll notice that you are able to become aware more and more you are able to notice the feeling more and more and that's a good thing because then you won't have this question mark that why did i become irritated or why did i become unhappy because you'll be able to see exactly why yeah yes yes thank you baby nice very nice we also mentioned Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. Uh, good, good morning, madam. Good morning. Good morning, madam. I I have come to the conclusion that some most of the time it is changing from one subject to the another subject. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it is concentrated at one topic. Nice. Very nice. And sometimes there is no imagination also. Okay. for some time i may say for 5 minute there is no imagination okay keep that open just now ji okay nice very nice so when the attention stays on one topic you are able to make out what topic it is staying on and you Hi, look at yeah. your feeling hi it is concentrated madam ha ah, concentrated are you able to associate it with some feeling 
I may get relief from that. Okay. If it is con concentrated at one topic. Uh, like, for example, can you give an example? An uh, example, once I, I was uh, seeing that uh, that uh, nature, the fruits are coming. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, seeing that tree is growing up. Mm -hmm. and from the uh, plant to the tree mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. am getting the mango from that and mm -hmm. it is from the nature only nice there is no contribution of mine or anybody yes very nice yeah you will notice that these kind of thoughts are linked with a very nice feeling a feeling that yes, is madam. naturally acceptable. Yes, madam. So, yes. One is Thank our you. own reflection because we are reflecting on the harmony in nature. And the other is when we are looking at nature, you know, um, every unit is reflected onto every other unit. So trees, plants, they don't have any feeling of opposition. So what is reflected is what is there. And so many people will say that you know, to be calm, they need to go out in the nature or they need to go for a walk among the trees or people like to go to the mountains or somewhere in nature when they want to feel calm. Isn't it? Many a times that is uh, what people say. But we'll see that we can ensure the right feeling within us anywhere and be calm and be happy. We don't have to be dependent on anything for the right feeling. So in this assignment, we said try and observe the feeling, the thought and the expectation separately in the imagination. Particularly our focus will be on the feeling. Because for the rest of the exercise one at least whatever we need to further observe has to do with our feeling and how we are able to uh, whatever we have to evaluate about the feeling uh, for all of that we need to be able to be able to see that feeling for ourselves. So slowly you'll be able to notice that. And like I said, many a time, the first thing you notice is whether you're comfortable or uncomfortable. So that gives a clue. If you're comfortable, something that is naturally acceptable to you is the feeling. And if you're uncomfortable, it is something that is not naturally acceptable to you. So you feel that. And as you go along, it will become easier and your you know, way of looking at it, it will become sharper. There will be more clarity about that. Okay, so should we do our 10-minute observation now? These same points that we did uh, yesterday, we'll reflect, you know, We'll uh, do a 10-minute observation of our imagination and then we'll try to come back to these questions and uh, sort of share our observations. So for 10 minutes, we'll all try to observe our imagination. Okay, nice. We have been observing for about 10 minutes now. So, Nidji, can we have that assignment slide again? If anybody would like to share their observations about what they could observe within themselves, if you'd like to share, we can take your sharing.
नमस्ते दीदी नमस्ते ऑल आउट ऑफ टेन मिनिट्स आई कूड ऑब्जर्व माय इमेजिनेशन फॉर फाइव मिनट्स बट आफ्टर दैट इट वाज ड्रिफ्टेड एंड वेरियस टॉपिक्स टू आर देयर इन माय थॉट बट विद इन दैट फाइव मिनिट्स आई वाज कॉन्शियस अबाउट द आउटसाइड स्टिमुलस साउंड एक्सेट्रा बट a part of it, only a small part was uh, diverted little but most of the part of my attention observation Im- on imagination was there with me for that 5 minutes after mm-hmm. that uh, next 5 minutes it was drifting on various topics and i was coming back again and again that was my okay. nice were you able to catch some feeling associated with it yes 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 were you comfortable uncomfortable that you were able to see was coming to my mind and most of the time within that 5 minutes uh, i was feeling comfortable mm-hmm. and also not very uncomfortable when while my thoughts were drifted and it was mm-hmm. coming back so that i was uh, a little bit uh, i mean complacent that yes it will happen yes nice yeah so we just need to stay with that decision to observe the imagination with the decision to observe the feeling at the base of the imagination and slowly you will find that you are able to see more and more and for longer periods of time yes nice thank you namaskar madam namaskar to all madam are you able to hear my voice yes yes i can hear you madam what i observed uh, uh, many thoughts are there uh, however when i am coming out of the imagination then i observe that i had some imagination mhm yes so i have been unable to be a separate observer from the imagination that i observed yes very nice that is how it is in the beginning yeah madam so we recall no what we ah. were thinking about we are able to recall that and say okay i was thinking about this that is also fine as oh. long as we continue with that decision to observe and slowly you will find that you can do it real time as okay. it is happening you will be able to see it are you able to notice some sort of feeling associated with it uh, no madam slowly it will happen but just stay please. with the decision to observe and stay with that decision to want to be able to see the feeling at the base uh-huh. previously i observed i have mm-hmm. shared also uh, just a few seconds i remind you mm-hmm. whenever i am with the thoughts i felt very uh, heavy discomfort mm-hmm. whenever i am uh, away from the thoughts i felt very uh, uh, comfortable light uh, happy that mm. i observed very nice see this is what it is what we were talking about flowing with the stream or sitting by the side of the stream and watching ah. the flow so when you are flowing with the stream that's when you are uncomfortable yes madam so if you see you know how water goes the water is flowing in the stream there are rocks there are you know barriers something is there the water sort of is thrown up in the air and then it comes down and all of that is happening in the stream isn't it yes but if you are sitting outside now supposing you were flowing with that stream and you were flowing with that water all that would be very disturbing isn't it yeah yes madam i mean this is just a way of looking at it yeah so but when you are sitting at, by the side of the stream and watching this now it is no longer disturbing now it looks very beautiful that the yeah. water is flowing the rocks are there the water is getting splashed up and down and it's going and it doesn't bother you anymore yeah That's yeah because ma'am. now you are not so involved with it you are looking at it from a distance and you yeah. are watching from the point of pure observer 
yes, at ma'am. that point of your observer there is no you know sort of you don't have this um wrong kind of feeling that you are having when you are flowing with the thoughts oh yes madam you are flowing with the thoughts and something disturbing is there you get disturbed but when you are watching from pure observer even if there is something disturbing in the you know thoughts the feeling and you are just watching you remain calm yes madam yes really yes very nice thank you madam thank you thank you uh, namaste ma'am namaste to all uh, ma'am when i sit and observe myself uh, i observe that uh, yesterday uh, events which are going on throughout the day uh, i visited uh, some colleges uh, for the pu admission so all those images are coming to the picture those picture i can see and i feel comfortable uh, whenever i saw that images so i also noticed that the important thing so so many uh, uh, thoughts are there but uh, i can see that uh, the important uh, what i feel that important things those images are coming uh, yeah. when i sit and observe continuously Yes. and i feel comfortable in, in throughout that uh, 10 minutes ma'am mm mm-hmm. very nice so whatever we are doing outside uh-huh. significant for us it's important for us so in our thoughts also that same thing is going on isn't it mm-hmm. yeah that's also nice that we are yeah. able to observe what is going on and that you are feeling comfortable at least that much we are able to see that's very nice thank you yeah yeah good morning diti good morning i have uh, observed the imagination keeps uh, changing so fast mm-hmm. so and also when we have to check our feeling is it just that i have to check i am comfortable or not or is there something more to it yeah first we can just see that you feel something mm-hmm. okay. then we can label it also later what kind of feeling okay because uh, like when i am observing and then i have to check my feeling at the same time or it is uh, later on at the same time mhm okay all right because then we don't uh, it was also mentioned you don't have to analyze it so yeah. uh, like uh-huh. yeah initially what happens is mm-hmm. we are able to see the thoughts we are not able to see the feeling right so in the beginning what we said was if you are not able to see the feeling you can try to deduce the feeling from the type of thoughts you are having you know by analyzing the thoughts okay i'm thinking like this so my feeling must be like this so i'm thinking about uh, competing with the other person then i can see that the feeling associated with this is a feeling of opposition isn't it yeah so that way you can deduce but eventually what we want to do is to be able to see the feeling as we go along so while you are thinking something at the base of that every thought that you have there is a feeling associated with it and as we keep looking at the thoughts we will also be able to see the feeling in fact you feel the feeling so that's why it's called feeling right and you will notice it at the same time you will notice it as it is happening but if it's not happening right now that's okay too we can keep with that decision to observe the thoughts and the feelings right yeah so uh, if it is comfortable or not that i am able to understand at that time mhm i am able to understand that along with the imagination yes yes 
now with that you will notice something you know depending on what your thoughts are one can get an idea of you know like if i have to say what kind of feeling you may have had then i would have to see you know what kind of thoughts you had and so on so i can give some hint about it but the the thing is that as we go along we will notice this at the same time that it's happening with every thought there is some associated feeling and that feeling also shifts like the thoughts shift the feeling also keeps shifting yeah yeah and this uh, ha huh, and that attention is very very short i feel like you know it keeps drifting so fast from one one topic to other yes that is true the imagination keeps flitting from one topic to another and it keeps moving very fast but uh, this capacity to observe this potential that we have to observe we are observing from a higher point uh, we are observing from the point of an activity which is far more subtle so we are able to observe these thoughts these feelings because they are more gross than where we are observing from so definitely we have the capacity to observe we just have to keep the decision to pay attention and slowly we'll be able to observe more and more yeah okay didi thank you thank you didi thank you um we have two three more minutes we have several hands what we'll do is we'll continue uh, with taking maybe one or two more comments and tomorrow we'll start with the fresh chapter i mean the lecture 5 but meanwhile we'll be continuing with these exercises we'll be continuing with this step 1 observing the imagination and particularly the feeling this part we have to keep doing on a regular basis madam namaste namaste madam during this uh, last 10 minutes observation can you speak little louder <clears throat> madam my, during this uh, last 10 minutes observation yes i experienced few things that is first one is i observed very less number of thoughts very less number of thoughts that is uh, thoughts are shifting but very less number of thoughts i observed mm-hmm. i noticed a very less number of thoughts in my mind and uh, the thoughts are also very short not prolonged i am not going through the thoughts or through the imagination that is uh, only for a one seconds few seconds i am with that thought then immediately that thought is shifting i am cutting that thought is not prolonged mm-hmm. next one is when even in your lecture also my mind is thinking about something else but here mm-hmm. i am not thinking about anything yeah so keep it open right now it may seem like that that we are not thinking about anything there are no thoughts ah oh, madam but oh, ma'am. even if you shift your position a little bit there is a thought behind that isn't okay. it okay okay even if you move your foot a little bit ah oh, ma there is a thought behind that okay isn't it okay madam after all the body is not moving on its own no okay madam there is a thought behind it so lot of times when the thoughts are more subtle they are not so disturbing we don't okay. notice them yes you have just started this journey no of trying to okay. see the thought so okay, it madam. will take some time so keep okay. it open let's okay, not madam. say there are no thoughts mm. let us say what we can observe mm. and we'll see there are no thoughts or if there are more subtle thoughts that perhaps we will be able to see later okay yeah? madam okay madam and this uh, 10 minutes time is also become very too short that is uh, uh, 10 minutes was uh, spent in a short time i didn't it, actually 10 minutes means is a long time for me but uh, very, very, very within fraction of seconds 10 minutes was passed away yeah that means you, know, you can see whether you are having good thoughts good feeling so therefore you are comfortable or you are flowing with the thoughts therefore you are not able to see so it may be a little bit of both but we'll come to that we'll 
take more discussion tomorrow about this. Okay. Uh, we need to stop now. We've okay, gone yeah. into the Hindi session time. And okay. couple more hands are raised. We'll take your questions or observations tomorrow okay, at five. Okay, madam. Thank you. Namaste.